Andrew invited his beloved Cassie to move into his house. She agreed because she and Andrew had been dating for a long time. However, his daughter Amber was against it. She did not want another woman to live in their house. Amber believed that no one could replace her late mother. Your mother was a unique woman, and I still love her. But daughter, understand, I cannot live alone, sent Andrew hugging his daughter. Cassie was very kind to the girl, but Amber did not appreciate this. She tried with all her might to make her father expel this woman. For example, she added a lot of salt to her cooking, or she burned her father's shirts with an iron and blamed everything on Cassie. The woman knew that the teenager simply did not want to see anyone in her mother's place. She understood her and never raised her voice to her. Her calmness infuriated Amber, and she decided to break the frame with her mother's photo. When Andrew saw the broken frame, Amber said that Cassie did it. The woman justified herself and said that she would never have done that. Dad, don't trust her. She wants to get rid of everything related to my mother in this house. Satisfied, Amber went to her room after seeing her stepmother cry. And a couple of hours later, she overheard Cassie talking to someone on the phone. She said something about an orphanage. Amber didn't listen to the rest of this conversation. She realized that Cassie wanted to take her to an orphanage so that she could no longer tolerate her stepdaughter's antics. In a fit of emotion, the girl gave her father an ultimatum, either she or Cassie. Andrew frowned and said he wasn't going to make a stupid choice. Both of you are important to me. Then, Amber, unable to stand it, burst into tears and ran away from home. Cassie and Andrew did not understand anything, but they thought that she would be back soon. However, when it was already dark outside and the clock showed 10 in the evening, they began to worry. Andrew and Cassie went looking for Amber. They decided separately to look for her, and soon Cassie found a girl who was sitting on an empty playground. You scared us a lot. Cassie approached Amber and sat down next to her. Let's go home. No, I'm not going anywhere with you. Why? Because you want to put me in an orphanage. I heard your conversation on the phone today. Cassie smiled and took the girl's hand. She explained that she called the orphanage for another reason. She wanted to make a monetary donation as well as give some things to the orphans there. The fact is that Cassie grew up all her life in an orphanage and knows how hard life is there. For many years, Cassie dreamed of her family, but fate decreed that Cassie could not have children, which greatly upset the woman. But when I found out that Andrew has a daughter, I was glad. I wanted children so much, and I really want to give you love, Amber. I can't replace your mom, but I can be a good stepmother. Just let me do it. Hearing her story, Amber couldn't hold back her tears and hugged Cassie. She apologized to her stepmother. And when they returned home, the girl apologized to her father too. She realized that she had misbehaved with them. People need to be given a chance to show their best side and you will see how their good qualities will help you become kinder and more tolerant towards them.